The two-day conference and retreats by the Inspector General of Police for Senior Police Officers themed the new police division. A roadmap for stabilizing internal security was held on the 8th and 9th of February 2022 in Akwaibom State. The retreat, which is the largest gathering and broadest representation of senior police officers across Nigeria, was a richly packaged program rounded up with an award night celebration at the Ibom Icon Hotel and Golf Resorts, Uyo. Governor Udomi Manuel of Akwaibom State and wife, Martha Udomi Manuel, hosted a grand award night ceremony to honor distinguished personalities who are impacting lives in the society. The award night had in attendance dignitaries and established personalities like the chief host, Governor Udomi Manuel of Akwaibom State and his deputy, Mr. Moses Igbo, Inspector General of Police, Usman Al-Kalibaba, business icon and philanthropist without boundaries, Sir Kessington Adebu Kuala Adebutu was represented by Are Kolao Yefeso, the chairman, Cutco Energy Nigeria Limited. The night began with a rendition of the national anthem and an opening prayer. This was followed by a welcome address by Dr. Emmanuel Equim, the secretary to the Akwaibom state government. He appreciated the guests for being present and promised them an event to remember. This state outside Lagos is the fastest growing destination for foreign direct investment. Secondly, the chief security officer of this state, a very good friend and governor, is someone that takes matters of security extremely seriously. Because he knows that um, when there is insecurity, there can be no socioeconomic development. And as the governor says, and I would like to quote, money and development, or money in particular is the coward, it doesn't go to where there is insecurity. And that's why you are here, because the fine gentleman, the governor of the state, has provided an enabling environment for us to, to be able to have our development. We welcome you and your men to this event and to this gala night. Let's not forget, because Ralph did allude to that fact, that I wanted to be a policeman. Yes, after having left secondary school, seminary, I went to Moloni Street, beside uh, Holy Cross Cathedral. And on the ground floor, I saw a fine gentleman, a sergeant. He looked at me with his pair of glasses on the tip of his nose. He said, my son, you want to be a policeman? I said, yes, sir. And because there was an advertisement in the Daily Times of those days, Inspector Cadet Course. So he said, OK, this is the form. I know I won't give it to you, but come back after two weeks. If you see it needed, I will give it to you. I'll preserve the form for you. The following day, right in my oldest brother's sitting room, my mission to the then University of Ife arrived my home and I stopped going to join the police force. That's what probably referred me to. Thank you and God. The harmonic voices thrilled the audience with a welcome performance, which was followed by a rich cultural display from the Watam Cultural Troupe, an inspiring performance from Aquabum Young Professionals Initiative.
Popular Nigerian comedians Clint the Drunk and Okebakasi also thrilled the audience with their stand-up comedy performances. It was easier. Thief. Two fighting. I never even knew two fighting was a crime. thought it was like when there are more than two fighting, but two fighting. All this, there were the things, police, Andrew. But now, the crime has now increased to the extent that even ritual, ritual killing, I, how do you even, wait, sorry, how do you tackle that one? Where, because I heard before that police don't tackle juju issues. No, am I lying? Unknown to most of you, alcohol has been helping marriages. But people take it for granted. Look at what COVID has exposed for us about alcohol. Prior to COVID-19, the Muslims will not touch alcohol. Some religions, even Christians, were against alcohol. But COVID came, and for the first time in the history of mankind, Christians, Muslims, atheists, Jews, Jews everybody, now agree that alcohol is useful, even if it's for washing of hand. <laughs> you see? Now you will see Malai has a small bottle of alcohol in his pocket called sanitizer. So you see, we are, we, are, we are getting somewhere. And some of us, we are working on this research to try to check. Because we have to question science. You know, some of these scientists, they tell you that, you know, milk, if you drink milk, milk is for strong bones. It gives you strength. But you realize that you drink four cups of milk, you can't push wall. But you drink four bottles of beer, the wall will move by itself. <laughs> so these are some of the things that we are... The Inspector General of Police, Usman al Kalibaba, presented awards to deserving personalities in the society. A Distinguished Service Award was presented to Alahaji Abdul Samad Rabiu, CON, Chairman Boa Group, who was represented by AIG Zone 1, Kanu, Belo Sadiq. A Distinguished Service Support Award was presented to Sir Dr. Kessington Adebu Kuala Adebutu, Chairman, Premier Loto Nigeria Limited who was represented by Are Kolao Yefeso. Sir Kessington Adibutu is the highest supporter of the Nigerian police force, with hundreds of millions of naira for the purchase of vehicles, equipment and facilities for the improvement of security and surveillance duties of the Nigerian police force in the past many years. The award is indeed a well-deserved one, which will further energize and encourage him to continue in the stead as one of Nigeria's most recognizable philanthropists who is making life-changing impacts in the lives of so many people. Your Excellency, as a distinguished special guest, course participants, we also present this award named another distinguished service award presented to Baba Adebutu, popularly known as Baba Ijebu, <laughs> for his support for the Nigeria police. Thank you very much. Please put your hands together for him. Thank you. A Distinguished Service Award was presented to Chief Dr. Innocent Ifedi Asachukuma, OFR, CEO Innocent Group of Companies. A Distinguished Service Award from the Nigerian Police Force was presented to the CEO, Niger Delta Development Company, Mr. F. Yongakwa. Also, Governor Odomi Manuel of Akwaibom State was presented a Distinguished Leadership Award. I have called other awards Distinguished Service Award, and this one is Distinguished Leadership Award. I have seen the kind of leadership being provided in Akwaibom by His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Akwaibom. You people have everything to celebrate, and you people have everything to enjoy in this hall. We have enjoyed His Excellency's goodwill, courtesy, honor, benevolence, and every other things that can also be mentioned. Thank you, Your Excellency, for your support to the Nigerian Police Force. Dolly, Dolly, Dolly. In his remarks, Governor Odomi Manuel recognized all dignitaries present as he specially thanked the Inspector General of Police for his accommodating spirit.
He went on to appreciate the Nigeria police force for their service to the nation and assured them that the 2023 Nigeria police games will be a hitch-free one in Akwaibom State. He ended by encouraging all visitors to the state to find time to tour Akwaibom State and behold the international standard infrastructures in the state. I appreciate all the DIGs, all the AIGs, all the CPs, and all other officers that are here. If it were to be possible, I would have loved to have a handshake with all of you because it's a privilege for all of you to come to Akwaibom State. We are one of the very few in the entire continent that run an airport, but I can conveniently say we are the only one that run an airport with the standard runway that you're seeing there, category two lighting systems all over the runway. So we can easily do that. And um, honestly, I was thinking we'll have time to show you certain things that you may probably read, you might not be able to, but except you see it. Uh, you know, we're not giving to saying things somehow like that. But as of today, I don't know what will happen tomorrow. The tallest, the sixth tallest building in this country is built not by the oil companies, not by the federal government, not by those giants that you hear their names, but owned by the state government. It's in Akwaibom. It's the smartest and the most intelligent building in this country today. So we would have had time to show you a few of these things so that when you just see it, you can also know. Then probably so that when you also want to do a study tour, you know that this is the home for the study tour. So that it could span from different services, agri to education, to other social services, and then to what we call a step to industrialization and then the real blueprint of our economic foundation. I think God will help you to succeed. We are not saying this because you are here. We listen to people, we listen to comments. This may not have been said of everybody, but I think your leadership is a shining light in the police force. Thank you and God bless you and have a safe trip back. To end the event, the vote of thanks was given by the Inspector General of Police, who thanked all guests and donors for their support. He wished the award recipients the best in their future endeavors and assured Nigerians that the police force is ready to provide the desired security to Nigerians through the collaborative efforts of security forces in the country. We sincerely appreciate all Akwaibom lights for accepting the two days discomfort of traffic, sarin, and other issues that must have witnessed in, within the township to our awardees who must have helped us in one way or the other, we also appreciate all the good gestures, all the courtesies, and all the things that have been done to make our job easy. I wish all senior officers that attended this conference Johnny Mercy back to their stations. Thank you very much. BISCON Communications congratulates the Nigerian police force on the successful hosting of its two-day conference and retreat in Akwaibom State.